go, hey, Deb, how you doing today? I'm fine. Oh, your shoulders are looking extra pointy today. Well, my secret is a lot of starch. Hopefully not too much, Starch right? prices are going up. Uh, everything's going up these days. Darn tootin'. I have some water. What the heck happened here? Yeah, we went to that new Asian place. A lot of salt. Ah, uh, gee, Chief, you gotta take care of yourself. You have high blood pressure. Who do you think you are, my daughters? Ugh, you know me. Whenever there's a new, uh, restaurant. Yeah, that and deep-fried food, like the bloomin' onion you eat every day for lunch. Well, um, well, onions are a vegetable. You're not gonna put an onion in your sock, are you, sir? Why, do you smell something? Uh, let me just, uh, adjust. Captain, you shouldn't move. Sir, I just saw an onion fall out of your sock. Uh, well, maybe you should get back to work instead of judging me of how do I do things for my health. I looked it up in a magazine. Uh, no, that was a lie. I saw it in an ad for an article in the uh, New York Times or whatever, but I don't know. Maybe it was just more spam that they're trying to peddle us on further and further. Maybe to think that we're safe. And then we just end up buying more frozen pizza. Well, the craziest thing in all this is the fact that you have a New York Times subscription. Or perhaps you just uh, turned off your ad block for a second. I think the pieces are coming together in this one. What's going on here? Chief's high blood pressure. Come on, Chief. Take it easy. You're going to get a stroke or a heart attack. Yeah, I know. I'm not as young as I used to be. Doc, is there some kind of magic pill I should be taking? You're not taking the medication I prescribed? What I say about making me look like an idiot? Don't. And uh, besides, I ran out of that medication, and I was too embarrassed to go get some more. I'll go get the medication for you, sir. Well, sir, I didn't come here to check on you on your blood pressure. I just wanted to say that there was a case, I gave up, and I don't really care about solving this case anymore. Why do we hire you anyways? I think it was nepotism. Meh? How dare ya? I know how to solve cases, it's just this one is a little bit more complicated. You can't give up every time the suspect asks for a lawyer. I don't know, it just makes us look like fools. Ugh. Well, maybe you can just file some paperwork. You get some, uh, you know, some stuff done after all. Well, he is illiterate. Hmm. Do you learn those in your fancy books? Ugh, it's like I'm living through the police academy movies. Does that make me Steve Gutenberg? Well, you're definitely not Winslow, making all those woo-woo-woo sounds. All right, Henry, you're going to promote Deb to uh, detective, and uh, you're going to be the secretary, okay? Mm. Well, this is what true democracy in a police station looks like. We all vote to see who's going to be the chief, the officer, the detective, all sorts of things. Oh, yeah, fine, I guess. Does that mean you have to have those shoulder pads? Why you got to help me like that? Well, the chief has final say until, you know, the end of the week when we do the revote. Well, I never really thought of it that way, but sure, why not? Deb has all sorts of fashion sense. Does that mean he has the power to take lunch orders or whatever? Because, you know, I have a very specific diet. Oh, uh, don't worry, I'll get you your crab cakes like you always get. All right, sir, just please, please promise me you're going to take care of your health. Well, I guess I could. Whatever. Ow, that hurts. Well, you know what? This kind of reminds me. There's this new smoothie place that just opened. Well, if they have crab cake smoothies, I'm totally down for that. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just realized what you just said. Gross. Gross. <laughs>